This is an Arizona's Family News Update. Good evening, everyone. I'm Chris Pickle. Here are the latest stories we're following from the Arizona's Family Newsroom. A grim milestone today for Arizona. We are now well over 100,000 confirmed COVID-19 cases in our state since January. State health officials say the bulk, more than 62,000 of the cases, are younger adults. We're talking people under the age of 44. Overall, 5% of people who test positive are hospitalized. 1,810 Arizonans have died. With the big jump in cases, another big concern is the availability of hospital beds across our state. 89% of ICU beds are now in use. The Department of Health Services tells us they're expecting more health care workers to arrive in southern Arizona this week to help care for COVID patients. Meantime, they tell us St. Luke's is prepared to take on patients if beds do fill up. If you're looking to get tested for COVID-19, you have a couple of options for free this week. The Hero Zona Foundation is holding drive through testing Thursday and Friday from 6 in the morning till 6 in the evening or until tests run out. That'll be at the South Mountain Community College. There is no pre-registration or appointment necessary, but you will want to get there early because of lines. Anyone wanting to be tested must have a valid ID. Equality Health is also expanding its free drive through testing for Glendale residents. You may remember long lines in Maryvale a few weeks ago. They're doing another round of tests Saturday at the Glendale Community College. This one, you will need an appointment if you want to go. Just head to equalityhealthfoundation.org to register. All right, everyone, if you have fireworks left over from your 4th of July celebrations, Today is the last day that you can legally set them off. If you get caught lighting them after today, you could face a $1,000 fine. Firefighters say storing fireworks in our desert heat, well, that's a bad idea because they can spontaneously combust. To help you out, some fire stations will take your old fireworks for you if you wanna just go ahead and drop them off. Paul? Well, thanks a lot, Chris. Let's get a look at that forecast. And boy, the heat's going to stick around. Take a look at this extended forecast here. 111 for tomorrow. And we're going to stay above 110, both Wednesday, Thursday. And then, the boy, the big warm-up starts Friday with a high of 112. 114 approaching records on Saturday. And it looks like that will be a new record if we hit 116 on Sunday. We're going to stay uh, well above average to start out the work week next week. No sign of any rain, unfortunately. But boy, it's definitely going to be hot, so take care out there. Chris, we'll send it back to you. Paul Horton, thank you. For updates on more stories we are following, you can download our app and subscribe to our YouTube and Roku channels. I'm Chris Pickle. Have a good night.